It's now mainstream news that the NSA, the National Spying Agency, taps the phone calls of major world leaders. Thanks to another leaked memo by Edward Snowden, the infamous NSA whistleblower, we have confirmation that at least 35 world leaders have their phone calls tapped by the NSA. Of course, that's so that the Illuminati elite cancer within the governments can then blackmail the world leaders or know what it is that they're doing to help shape the new world order. Or if they find out that they're not playing along, uh, then they will take the appropriate um, measures to coerce them to cooperate with the Illuminati New World Order Orwellian Antichrist agenda. At first, it came out that the U.S. Well, it may have monitored the phone calls of Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, stressing international relations between the two countries. And then just the whole shebang comes out that, yeah, it's it, pretty much every major world leader has their phone calls tapped by the NSA. It really, I mean, by the Illuminati core within the NSA. Oh, yeah, just don't worry about it, man. The National Spy Agency, billion phone calls in one month. See, even though this is a confirmation of what most people in the resistance, much of this audience, has known, uh, major sources have confirmed this already, but it's finally making it into the mainstream. But what's really going to be hardcore is if someday... It's finally revealed, and mainstream news, 100% confirmed, that they're not just recording who calls who and the data of the phone records. We're talking about the actual audio of the phone calls being recorded. Okay? I mean, this has been con confirmed, really, out in the open. Uh, a former FBI or a, an FBI counterterrorism analyst on CNN let the cat out of the bag a couple months ago when he was being interviewed by Aaron Burnett about the Boston bombing. And they were talking about how there was no way that they could have the private conversations, or Aaron Burnett assumed that there was no way that, that the officials could have the private conversations of the supposed uh, bombers. But then this FBI counterterrorism analyst said, no, <laughs> no, there's ways. Yes, uh, let's see here, Tim Clemente, here says, oh no, there, there is a way. We certainly have ways in the national security investigators to find out exactly what was said in that conversation. Aaron Burnett said, wait, wait, they can actually get that? People are, say, people are saying, look, this is incredible. No, welcome to America. All of that stuff is being captured as we speak, whether we uh, know it or like it or not. So this guy, Tim Clemente, former FBI counterterrorism agent, confirmed... What other sources have said, what common sense reveals, that all telephone conversations, the audio, the content is recorded and can most likely be searched through keyword um, dictionary searches. Kind of like uh, the audio recognition apps, SoundHound, Shazam. You know those apps on your phone that when you hear a song and you don't know what it is, you just press the app, turn on the app, and it'll listen for a few seconds, and then it'll tell you the title of that song. Out of the millions and millions and millions of possibilities, it will identify that song in a few seconds. And so the NSA has the ability, or most likely has the ability, to search for keywords in all those conversations. So, I mean, for example, you pick a specific politician, and the NSA, the Illuminati controllers, want to find out if they've talked about specific issues ever in the last, I don't know, 10 years, 5 years since all phone calls have been recorded from everybody in the several Yoda bytes of data that is in the NSA's Utah Bluffdale uh, spy facility. Yes, Yoda bytes of data. Um, basically, it's like if you stack hard drives from here to the moon, that's how much storage capacity the NSA facility has in Bluffdale. So using the same kind of technology that these sound identifying apps like Shazam and SoundHound use, the NSA can go and just search the last decade or so of conversations of anybody and find out, hey, let's see, did so-and-so ever mention the Bilderberg group in a conversation in the last five years? Let's just enter in the Bilderberg Group as a dictionary keyword term and search the last five years of their conversations that are on record in the Yoda bytes of data in the Bluffdale facility or wherever the storage um, the facility was before that. That is going to be the real shocker. 
I mean, I guess Americans don't really care. They got their TV. They got their cable TV. They got their smartphones. They don't really care. Um, but that's going to be the real hardcore news. I mean, it's not going to get much worse than that. Well, I mean, actually, I guess it is because the <laughs> they're going to... Oh, I don't even want to get into it here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos. We're getting into their ultimate endgame plan um, in future videos. I mean, I've covered it in previous videos. We'll just rehash it again, get into more details. There's like hundreds of subscribers coming a day to my YouTube channel. So, and not everybody watches every video, so I don't mean to repeat myself. But sometimes you got to just drill the, the truth into people's heads for them to finally get it. So, anyway, the NSA spies on the conversations of world leaders. And, I mean, in my book, The Resistance Manifesto, published originally in 2005, <laughs> approaching a decade ago, uh, I covered the NSA echelon and carnivore type of systems, which, are the which were the precursors to PRISM, which has now been confirmed by Edward Snowden, and the industrial espionage and the blackmail that goes on by... Uh, having such a godlike power to be able to record and listen to anyone's conversation in the world with just a few clicks of a keyboard. So anyway, subscribe to the channel. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. There's more videos coming soon.